Hello. In this video, we are going to uh, review the frequency response for a first order high pass RC filter. First order high pass RC filter consists of a capacitor in series with a resistor. There's my input V in and the output is taken across the resistor. Now I'm going to come up with an expression for the transfer function of this circuit, uh, which is simply the ratio of the output to the input as a function of frequency. Uh, in this case, the ratio of V out to V in um, is also an expression for the voltage gain as a function of frequency. Before I proceed with the circuit analysis, I'm going to write down the impedances for my components. For a capacitor, the impedance 1 over J omega C. For a resistor, the impedance is simply the resistance R. Now I can analyze my circuit by noting that um, this looks like a voltage divider where uh, the voltage V in gets divided across the impedance 1 over J omega C and uh, impedance R. And the output voltage is just the output of the voltage divider. So it's going to be equal to V in times R divided by R plus 1 over J omega C when I have simply applied the voltage divider equation. Now my voltage gain is just going to be the ratio of V out to V in. And so it'll be equal to R divided by R plus 1 over J omega C. And I can simplify this by dividing a uh, numerator and denominator by R. And so I'm left with oops, 1 divided by uh, one plus one over j omega rc all right and i'm going to rewrite this expression into the standard form for a first order high pass filter and so i'm going to rewrite my av as a function of j omega as follows it's going to be equal to one uh, divided by one uh, i'm going to write plus for now uh, and this will be omega c divided by j times omega but now notice that um, 1 over j is equal to minus j and so i'm going to make that substitution so this will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus j omega c divided by omega where omega c is equal to the cut of frequency for a first order high pass filter, uh, which is just 1 over RC in radians per second. Uh, since omega, the frequency radians per second, is related to uh, the frequency in hertz f, I can rewrite the same expression as a function of f. AV is a function of JF, will then just be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus J, out of frequency divided by f, where fc is simply omega c divided by 2 pi or 1 over 2 pi rc. Now I can um, rewrite this uh, complex function in terms of its magnitude response and its phase response. And uh, to do that, I'm going to take the magnitude of that. Um, transfer function of the voltage gain as a function of frequency, and then um, I will calculate the phase. So I'm basically splitting or expressing that function in terms of its magnitude, it's a function of frequency, and its phase. Or actually, I'm going to express the phase as phi. All right, the magnitude uh, of 1 over 1 minus j fc over f, uh, since I have a ratio, is going to be equal to magnitude of the numerator divided by magnitude of the denominator. And so it's going to be equal to magnitude of the numerator is 1, magnitude of the denominator is the square root of 1 squared, which is simply 1, plus fc divided by f squared. 
and my uh, phase response is equal to the phase response of the numerator minus the phase response of the denominator. So um, zero minus, and uh, the phase response of the denominator is going to be equal to uh, the negative inverse tangent of uh, FC over F. Um, let's go a little bit slower and just uh, take a look at it. So magnitude of the numerator equal to, or excuse me, phase of the numerator equal to zero because I just have a real number, phase is zero. Uh, the phase of the denominator is going to be equal to uh, the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. And so I have uh, minus zero minus the inverse tangent of fc divided by f uh, minus fc divided by f divided by one. Now, the inverse tangent of a negative angle equals the negative inverse tangent of that angle, and so I can um, combine this negative and that negative to make a positive. And so the overall result is just going to be the positive inverse tangent, in this case, of fc divided by f. And again, this is just the magnitude response, ab. That's the phase response, phi. And I can plot um, my magnitude response and phase response in the form of a body plot. Just like I did for the low pass filter. And in my body plot, first I will uh, plot that expression for magnitude. And the result will be a function that um, is constant for high values of frequency. Uh, but then as the frequency becomes lower and as it gets past a certain point, the cut of frequency, it starts decreasing at the rate of approximately negative 20 dB per decade. One over two pi RC in this case. Um, I'm going to call this my AV max. And this is a plot of my magnitude response in dBs. Just as in the case of the low pass filter, uh, we are doing a piecewise linear approximation with this body plot. In reality, the function uh, at the corner frequency or the cutoff frequency. It's going to have a smoother transition. Um, and by definition, the cutoff frequency will be the point at which um, the value of the transfer function, or in this case, the voltage gain, is 3 dBs below that maximum value. I can now plot my phase response. Also, as a function of frequency, and I can see that you know it's going to be the inverse tangent of fc divided by f. Um, in all reality, it's just going to be um, for small values of f. Let's imagine for f equals zero, it's just going to be sitting at uh, 90 degrees because the inverse tangent of um, infinity is going to be 90 degrees, and then. At approximately one tenth of the cut of frequency, it's going to start decreasing until it reaches its final value at approximately ten times the cut of frequency. Um, all the way to zero degrees. We can see that in the mathematical expression for the phase response. Um, as f becomes larger than fc, uh, then we're approaching the inverse tangent of zero, which is going to be zero. At exactly the cutoff frequency, the phase should be the phase difference between input and output should be 45 degrees. All right, and uh, that will be a review for the um, frequency response of a first-order RC high-pass filter. Thank you.